Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are still talking about lichen sclerosis. In this short video series we are specifically talking about immune system response which causes lichen sclerosis and other autoimmune diseases. But let's talk about the consequences of this. Why? Having lichen sclerosis the skin loses its elasticity. So lichen sclerosis causes the degeneration of epidermis aka our skin but not only on the outer layer like it happens in the lichen planus but on some lower layers as well this leads to an extensive water loss in the skin stretchy fibers in our skin that cause collagen and elastic may break. When collagen cells accumulate the damage for too long, they lose their ability to work correctly. And all of this can lead to such symptoms as burning, itching and even blistering. The vulvar skin also loses its volume and fat. When the collagen stops working correctly, the regeneration of our skin stops and breaks. Because the collagen is a protein and a connective tissue that holds everything together. Hyaluronic acid that is produced by our body also depends on collagen. Hyaluronic acid accumulation stops because of a progressive decrease of CD44, which occurs in lichen sclerosis and lichen in planus. So you can imagine that no collagen, no water, no hyaluronic acid, no regeneration of the damaged cells. And now I will tell you about some interesting research that one doctor on Facebook mentioned in 2021. Although she calls this research new, it was conducted in 2015. This research actually concluded that overdrive production of Collagen causes scars and anatomy changes in lichen sclerosis. It's a completely opposite information from what I just told you. Unfortunately, these results are not consistent with skin atrophy. That's what we're talking about constantly on this channel. There are two types of skin damage that is being caused by lichen sclerosis. Skin thinning and skin thickening. Most of lichen sclerosis patients have thinning. So I'll tell you more about this 2015 research and I put the link to it below in the description of this video. Please check everything yourself because I can be wrong, some doctors can be wrong and everybody can be wrong. In 2015 the doctors had a group which consisted of 21 patient total. I just want you to wrap your mind around it. How big are the control groups for a new medication? It's not 21 person, it's hundreds of persons who actually try something. 21 is better than 5 from the previous video, right? <laughs> but still, 21 patient with lichen sclerosis, it's not that much. That's the problem. Clinically proved lichen sclerosis is usually goes to patients with thickening of the skin because when you have skin thickening it's a more obvious sign of lichen sclerosis and when patients have skin atrophy usually doctors find out that this is lichen sclerosis pretty much late. So okay let's get back to these 21 patients. They were all biopsied, they were all, they were all classified, they're taken during the biopsy tissues were compared to healthy vulvar tissues. What the doctor found out significant decrease of elastic fibers in patients with lichen sclerosis but at the same time they confirmed the presence of the densely clustered collagens of type 1, 3 and 5. So this research showed that over excessive amounts of collagen caused skin thickening in this 21 patient with lichen sclerosis but what about people who have atrophic skin with lichen sclerosis? Actually, we are being treated with collagen, isn't that right? So doctors Gikovi and Grigorio and also Dr. Corbo say that treatment of lichen sclerosis, especially in males, can be performed with collagen 1. Also they say that injectable collagen significantly improves the situation of those 
who have lichen sclerosis. I'll also put the link to their research down below. In the conclusion, as we said, there are two types of damage caused by lichen sclerosis and one type of damage, thickening of the skin, is probably caused by too much collagen. With this type of damage of lichen sclerosis skin, you can use corticosteroids and you don't have to use collagen. In another type of lichen sclerosis, which is being diagnosed not that often because of the mixed symptoms and because doctors still can't recognize lichen sclerosis in the atrophic skin by visual exam, it's a collagen deficiency. That's why in this case lichen sclerosis can be improved not cured by injections of collagen and hyaluronic acid. That would be it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below this video to find out more about lichen sclerosis. Stay safe and see you in the next episode. Bye!